As we near the end of 2020 and reflect back, I'm sure COVID is most on our minds. The COVID-19 pandemic has made it abundantly clear that we need to work together. As we've learned from the fight to HIV, global challenges require a unified global response. In Zimbabwe, we've seen significant impact of this approach. As a result of global solidarity, we've been able to invest in HIV prevention, treatment and care, and in building resilient health systems. Through a strong partnership with the Global Fund, the Ministry of Health and Child Care, other partners, and of course the communities, we've been able to deliver significant results. For example, we're providing treatment to over 1.1 million people on ARVs. We're powering up with solar of over 400 health clinics and another 540 are actually being established in this year. We are also providing over 550 clinics with solar-powered boreholes, again, happening as we speak. We've provided support to the retention of critical health workers, and we've been rolling out some digital solutions for patient management and disease monitoring. We're also making sure that over 6,000 young girls are able to stay in school as part of our prevention program. There are many, many other interventions in supply chain management, procurement, but also the COVID-19 response. We've seen that COVID is a real th threat to those results in health, but not just in health, also in poverty, in inequality, etc. Therefore, now more than ever, each one of us must make a contribution towards the elimination of HIV. No one is safe until everyone is safe. As Zimbabwe progresses towards the 1919-90 goals, we call on continued investments into the HIV response to keep us on track. This World AIDS Day, we celebrate those on the front lines of HIV prevention, treatment and care. Thank you for your dedication and sacrifice.